Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner Series. You are watching the second part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about how we can get started with the Power Ups development process. So now let's get started. During this session I am going to talk about which are the tools that we need in order to start with power of development process also i am going to talk about how you can assign the trial license for your tenant and how you can set up the environment for your organization so these are the basic things that we are going to talk about in this session so now let me talk about first which tools do we need in order to start with power of development process to start the development with power apps we can either use power app studio or we can use power apps web now, Power App Studio is something which is available as an app in Windows 10 or Windows 8. You can directly download that from the Microsoft Store. So, Power App Studio is something whenever you edit any of the app using Power App Studio, after all, it will be redirecting you to the web itself. So, I personally recommend you to use Power App's web for your development process. Now, let me talk about how you can get started with the Power App's web development. So, in order to do that, first of all, open your browser. Now, here you need to type make.powerapps.com. So, once you enter make.powerapps.com, it will prompt you for the login. And once you log in to the screen, it will show this type of home page for you. So, this is the home page of the Power Apps. So, now here you can see that. There is left navigation with the different options and from here you can create different app. As we have discussed in the first part, we can create three different type of application inside the Power Apps, which is the Canvas app, Model Driven app and Portal app. So in this series, we are going to talk about this Canvas app from the blank in detail. So this is the overview of homepage of Power Apps. Now, second question is, which license do you need in order to start with the development process? To start the development process, you need any active license or trial license for your tenant. Now, let's say for an example, if I am specifically talking about my user and I am going to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you can see that I have Power Apps Plan 2 trial activated for my tenant. So you can activate any trial in order to start with the development process. Also when you move the things to the production of course you need the license but which type of licensing you need I will talk more about that in uh, some of the other videos. At this moment we are not focusing much on the license part only the concern is you should have any active license for Power Apps. Right? Now let me talk about third thing which is the environment. So let me move over to my presentation deck and let me talk about that thing in detail. First of all, let me talk about what is environment. Whether you are creating an app, a flow, a data connection or any entity in common data service, much of what you do in Power Apps is contained in a specific environment. So environments create a boundaries between different types of work. That was the theoretical part. Now let me talk about that thing in detail here. So whenever you open this Power Apps portal, you can see that here there is an option to create the apps. You can store the data within the entities using here. Also, you can build the solution. Also, you can connect the flow within your Power Apps. So all of this thing you are doing is in, in one of the environment in Power Apps. So environment is something like if you can see on the top right corner over here, you can see environment and it is showing your tenant name and inside the bracket it is showing the default. So by default, if you haven't created any environment, all the things are stored in the default environment over here. So environment is type of boundary for your organization. Now let's say for an example, in actual real life scenario, there is a possibility that you have more than one environment in your organization right let's say for an example if there is a very large organization and they have lots of different departments over there so what happen here is they can create separate environment for each individual department over there most of the time 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्रिएट डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रोडक्शन एनवायरमेंट सेपरेटली सो वाट हैपन हियर इज इन डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट डेवलपर्स आर डेवलपिंग द ऐप एंड वंस द ऐप इज डेवलप्ड सक्सेसफुली दे आर मूविंग दैर डेवलपर ऐप टू द प्रोडक्शन एनवायरमेंट सो दैट एनवायरमेंट कैन बी डिफरेंट also let's say for your organization if you have multiple environment but if you do not have provided with the access of the environment you are not able to view that environment over there right now how to create the environment let me show you that thing in detail or as a power platform administrator you can create the environment for your organization for that what you need to click here what you need to do here is click on the setting gear over here click on the admin center so it will be redirecting you to power platform admin center over here so once you once you check that here you can see that the first section is the environment and by default by default the default environment is available over here now if you want to create the new environment just click on new environment and provide the appropriate name for your environment so let's say i'm providing my environment name is development environment now you need to select the uh, type of your environment so here i'm i'm uh, showing the as a trial tenant trial type right and now i just wanted to click on save and that will create environment for my tenant the environment is created successfully over here now let me just refresh my power apps and now let's check this environment tab so here you can see that the environment that we just created so you can see that this is the trial environment that we have created and this trial environment will be expire in 29 days so what happen here is whatever the apps that we are going to create within this environment will be expiring in 29 days and it has created this separate dev environment for our organization right so this is all about the environment so in order to start with this series you need three different things in detail first is you need to log in into make.powerapps.com so make sure that you have activated any trial license for your tenant and third thing is that you need to use a default environment you don't need to create any separate environment over here right so this was the overall idea to get started with power apps development process now in the next session we are going to talk about how we can customize sharepoint list form with the power apps so stay tuned with my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me for my any other power platform videos i am uploading new video every day so you can get the knowledge in power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint from my channel Also if you want to have any consultancy or any corporate training you can connect me on my whatsapp number which is plus 9195379814678167 also if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp have a great day goodbye